the Hall of Justice. Welcome, everybody. This is Hero Clicks for, or we should say, Hero Clicks with Dummies. We'll talk about that here in a minute. My name's Cable. This is Sean. So, Cable and Sean, we've been doing this for about 15 years now. We have been clicking yeah. almost our entire adult life. We were military guys. We met back in the day. Um, but we're not here to talk about the long story. We'll give you our bio epic pick here later. Uh, this one here is what? What are you here for this weekend? Uh, it's JLU. JLU release. So the new clicks, the new bricks. Um, Sean was able to get his hand on both the bricks, some loose packs, some starter sets. And so we had some uh, pretty good, uh, it's pretty good. So Sean drove out. We got about five hours together this weekend. Excuse me, five hour drive. Come out, we've been, what, 72 hours we've been clicking. Uh, and so we got some questions. So that's kind of what this is. We are seasoned veterans? No. We are rookie noobs? No. Do it. We are veteran noobs. Veteran noobs? How, yeah. does, that, how does that work? What does that mean? Uh, well, like you said, we've been playing for 15 <laughs> years, and we still have no idea what we're doing. I mean, we, we get the basics. We get what the power means. We get the powers and actions and all that stuff. But we still, every game, we'll come across like, can we do that? Probably 10 or 15 times, you know. Yes. Like, where's the piece? Give me the damn. And we got a, it's like, does that, does that, how does this work? So this was another uh, unique dynamic. We sat down, he got here at 10 o'clock in the morning the other day, sat down, didn't say hi, we, let's do this. And we ripped open a brick and kind of got to it. Uh, we, five packs and five packs, you know, kind of booster thing. We pulled ours. I got some great figs. You got some great figs. Uh, but we were shocked. Why were we shocked? Because what was actually this jail you said? You need that background, that story. Come on, give me your give me your last 30 years. So, like you said, 15 years we've been doing this. And when I started playing clicks, uh, I don't know, was it 2001? Four. Well, no, I started playing 2001, back when I lived in Michigan many years ago. Okay. But uh, it was just before the jail, Justice League cartoon had come on the air. Maybe it was already on, but early. Uh, but you had the you know the Superman and the Batman and the Wonder Woman. They came out with that hologram John Stewart that you had to mail a uh, way for yeah. and the uh, Wizard Magazine. So even back then, I was building that JLU team based on the cartoon. Well, then they came out with Justice League Unlimited, and uh, you know carried on from there. But now they got this big expansive team, and they killed it with this set. That's exactly what they did. They gave you Justice League Unlimited with a hint in the starter set of just the Justice League. When they're not the veterans leading the team they are just the team there to save the world and all that stuff but they killed it with the set the good the bad they played exactly how they should so we had a couple things that we really ran into uh fresh out the gate again we don't know the bricks we don't know the packs uh we hadn't yet gone online and seen anything COVID kind of threw everything off uh like i said he got his hands on it and here we go so we started getting into it first two dynamics that we really stumbled upon were the two that were the big ones the jla team ability where you can roll the dice and remove or you can do the Injustice League team ability where you actually add action tokens when you roll that six. So let me tell you about a shitty game I had, you guys. <laughs> uh, I tried it the first time. I was pulling JLU. I was pulling JLA. I was pulling tokens. It was a pretty good gig. And I had one creature, one... Uh, help me out here. It was, it was a random Injustice League character. Yeah, it was Ultra uh, Humanite. Uh, oh, yeah, Ultra Humanite. Ultra. Yeah. So guess what? He could give Sean some... And Sean was tripping out about that. So next day, we put some teams together. This Yahoo builds an 11-person injustice team or whatever and decides to basically push, kill, basically mute my entire team. I had like eight or nine dead pools that I put a rando team together. And this Yahoo, I, I didn't even start the game without tokens going on. Uh, it was just a very cool aspect to be able to hand that across the table and just dis disrupt everything about my game. Done. Done, 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 done. You brought up a good point with the, the way the Justice League and the Injustice League play with each other. You know, Justice League, they're there to help each other out. They remove tokens from each other to keep people going. And then the Injustice League is there to add action tokens and hurt their opponent. So you can really see the dynamic and the way that the two teams would handle each other. And I think they, they broke it down beautifully. Because when we, I played those two teams, I went from Injustice league team to a justice league team yes and it was just a whole different dynamic like i felt like as an injustice league player like i was there to murder him like i was there to cause havoc and destroy that team well with the justice league it seemed a lot more organized and there was like leadership and you know you had martian manhunter moving the characters you know with his special ability you know all you gotta do is pick a character that shares the keyword justice league and 
you know, moving five space or half their movement or whatever. But it, it was two different dynamics that played out exactly as they should have. I think. It was absolutely um, so, some of the best clicks we've had in quite a while. Oh, yeah. Uh, now, I rode fours all day, so I sucked and I got my ass kicked. Uh, not going to lie, it was pretty was sad. But anyway, uh, but what, what we also do in this session and what we're here for, the purpose of it is we've done this for years. We want to know if you guys have the same scenarios and questions. So we had three figures that had either unique writing, unique uh, superpowers, or excuse me, uh, special powers, unique something. And we want to kind of tell you what we ran into and then put it out there and you guys kind of give us our feedback and, and let us know what you're thinking. So our first one was Hawk Girl. Hawk Girl. So what about Hawk Girl? Uh, so looking through you know, her, her special abilities and all that stuff, we kind of understood it. And then she had, you know, next to the little player picture, you know, the black and the character movement. So it was one of those like, okay, so we looked it up and she ignores entering terrain and uh, opposing characters yep. for movement purposes, which was great because she can charge and flurry and all that stuff. So we, you know, figured, okay, that, that kind of makes sense. But the way he broke it down was that's better than hypersonic speed. So hypersonic, you can still run by and you can still finish, uh, continue your movement and whatever. But if she's just sitting next to somebody, she can still continue to, by the way it's written, take off and not have to break away, no plasticity, no, and just poof. So if you're hypersonic and next, you still got to break away. This one here, she's just kind of all over the map. And so Hawk Girl kicked my tail quite a bit during this match. Um, and we felt like it was uh, very well done, but we were just like, Eh, we think that's what we're supposed to do. So tell us your thoughts. Tell us what you run into when you get your hot girl from your brick um, and let us know what your dynamics you come across and if there's anything there that maybe as, again, all these years we just overlooked it and what have you. Maybe that's the fun. This is the rare hot girl. I think there's a super rare too. So I could be wrong. Okay. So just, just a heads up out there. This is the rare the rare girl. Second one is the flash. Now this flash, we're going to talk from the starter set for this JLU. There's a, how many figure set again? Five? Six. Six figure seven, set, starter set, seven. and it's got a flash in it. It's a hundred point flash, and let me tell you, kick my tail. <laughs> again. This was another one of those where, like every game, you know, halfway through, can you do that? Can you not do that? Halfway through, I'm looking at the cards and the powers, and I realize, oh, he has a special ability to where I can run through opposing characters, and as I do, I cause a penetrating and damage and also knock them back. Because, you know, I was like, oh, splash, hypersonic speed, you know, we probably should sure. read the cards more often. But yeah, then the cards are now this long, and we're having to read books of 11 characters, so that's our fault, too. Yeah. But what had happened was, is that verbiage says you have to run through. So now Sean's got JLA, he's got plus two to everybody, that he's running 14 or 15 clicks, whatever ridiculous numbers he's got, but his now click can run across the board, tag every one of my characters and deal the penetrating damage and determine where you want to knock him or her back along your path. That blew my mind. Now at this point, I was pretty much a, a cannon fodder. I was already dead. So Sean just blah, 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 and ran through and finished the game. But that's huge. That's a game changer. But the question we have is the adjacency. Like it talks about regardless of adjacency. And we we're like, well, he's already ignoring, according to the card, ignoring characters for movement. And he's running through them, and he's running. That didn't make any sense about what this word adjacency That's was. That's why we're here for stones. Yes. So <laughs> tell us what you read it as, let us know, and then send it back our way and put it in the, the, the liner notes and let us know hey, what that is. The last one. Uh, Martian Manor. So, Martian Manhunter, I didn't, but by the way, uh, Sean had some, a hell of a pull this week because I, I didn't pull any of these guys. Sean pulled all these guys. So, his Martian Manhunter was starter set? Starter set. So, this is also starter set. So, do me a favor, break down that card and this ability for the starter set, uh, so Martian Manhunter. Martian Manhunter has the ability to, it says, uh, leadership and shape change, and then it says power. Uh, he has the ability to, you know, basically anybody with a Justice League keyword move one of those characters who has one or zero action tokens half their movement. So this is power. Does that mean power action? Does that mean it's going to cost Martian Manhunter an action to do that? Do they have to break away when they do that? Or I mean, this is one of the lot of questions we ran into. We, so even on top of that, is it a uh, line of sight, line of fire? That wasn't mentioned. There was a lot going on with this Martian Manhunter. Uh, but I will tell you, I had some kill box kind of areas I was trying to get some guys into. And as soon as all this team came over, he just started plucking them out from across the board. And I was like, ah. So we ran into 
uh, those three, and we had a lot more, we got a lot more stories, we'll do some more videos, but this one here was the top three that really came out. We had Hawk Girls Movement, Flash's Movement, and then that special power, special ability from March of Manhunter um, from the starter set. Uh, I think Sean and I are going to try to attempt to do some of these. The next ones might be Zoom and, and back at it because we'll give you a little part. So we're going to try to do that. But we want to see what's on your mind, what's on your thoughts, uh, how are you liking the set, and what do you want to see next time in regards to, we want to talk about figures, teams, gameplay. Uh, we're going to try to get some games videoed and break them down a little bit more detailed, a little bit more um, banter rather than just uh, serious because we're not really serious guys. Um, he's been kicking my ass for 15 years, uh, and I still take it. But, um, yeah, good times for you. Uh, good times for me, I think. It's been a blast. Uh, for myself, this is Cable and Sean. And this is Hero Clicks for Dummies, Hero Clicks with Dummies. It's just the Hero Clicks and this, I guess. We're, so we're, we're working on that. But everybody else out there in TV land, we'll catch you guys on the flip flop. Yeah.